Hey friends, what's up? Today I want to tell you a little story. So yesterday I tried to record a video. I want to make three videos a week and I tried really hard to make it happen but living in Bali it's a big challenge because there's so many noises going on everywhere. So at this point um, I have the cleaner in the house, she's being loud. Um, there's some construction going on somewhere over there, there's people cutting some grass over here, there's a guest house next door and they're fiddling around in the kitchen, and I've got two housemates, so there's a lot of factors that I need to consider when I make a video. And then obviously there's the light situation. And so yesterday I was trying so hard to make a video and man, I went on for about an hour or even longer, it probably took me, I don't know, I tried 20 times and it just I just couldn't get the peace and quiet that I needed to make that video happen and I got more and more frustrated and in the end my housemate came home and I just completely gave up and I was quite frustrated and then I packed up my laptop and I drove off I was gonna go to the co-working space and get some work done as I was driving and I was about halfway to the co-working space I realized I had left half of my office in my room here at home I was like, man, so I stopped. I was like, should I turn around? Turned around, drove home, cut the rest of my stuff, and then headed back to the co working space. And then yesterday in the evening, as I left the co working space, I overheard some people talk shit about yoga, and one guy was saying, yeah. And like most of the yoga, like male yoga teachers are gay anyway, and they all talk too much soft shit and about making yourself vulnerable and it's just really derogatory and judgmental. The day before on Saturday, um, I was out on a little trip with a group of friends from the co-working space and um, we were on a little island and I had my drone and you know, got some cool footage, but towards the end I crashed the drone into a tree. Um, it was my first crash with a drone. It just sort of happened. I was distracted. There was this woman passing me by. And in any case, it's broken now. Now, why am I telling you all these stories? All of these things, they really frustrated me in the moment. But I didn't want to let these instances these, you know, I couldn't make the video, I left my shit at home, people were talking shit about yoga and gay people, and me crushing the drone. I am not the victim of these sort of circumstances anymore, at least I just don't see myself that way anymore. I don't want those sort of situations um, impact the rest of my day. I don't want them to take over my energies and, you know, being in a good mood. This is not to say that like I said in my last video about how to deal with the inner critic, this is not to say I'm all about positive thinking, no. But when these sort of frustrating things happen, and we all have them happen to us all the time, right? Every day there's probably something that really pisses you off. And that's totally cool, and I believe a little bit of anger is totally fine, we just need to find a way how to deal with it. And so instead of bursting out, and usually, you know, back in the days, a few years ago, I would have totally you know, with the filming situation or with the drone or people talking shit, I would have burst out either inside of me and just gotten really angry and like, or, or you know, I would yell out or in the case of these people yesterday, I would have maybe, I don't know, went up to them and told them that they're talking crap. But I'm at a point now finally um, and I realized this in the last few days as these little things happen and I call it the little shit and obviously there's a lot bigger shit that can go wrong that I'll talk about in another video like when you're being broken up with or you lose your job or like when unexpected things happen and they kind of upset you, right? But here in this video I'm just talking about the little stuff and because I can see so many people get really worked up and upset about little tiny things going wrong in their lives and they get so hung up on it and then it just destroys the rest of their day and I've made a commitment to myself that I won't let that happen anymore because like I said for one I'm not the victim of these sort of circumstances also you know of course I could let these things get on to me and be like yeah you know and, and, and have like my inner critic and that negative self-talk going on of like 
oh, why did you fuck this up? Oh, this is not meant to happen. Um, how could you be so stupid and crash that drone? Um, maybe you're not meant to make YouTube videos. Maybe it's a sign. Um, maybe these people are right, but they're talking about yoga and gay people and gay yoga instructors. And anyway, I could get, have all of that just completely dominate my mind and my body and the rest of my day. And yet I'm just not prepared to do that anymore because I know that, you know, let's for example, with yesterday with the videos and then forgetting my shit at home, I consciously felt into that feeling of, yeah, the frustration, the little anger at myself and just at, at all the circumstances. <laughs> and i felt into it i give it space i don't ever really try to push it away anymore i'm very aware of when things like that come up but then i know how to redirect my energies and so you know as i was then driving back to the co-working space striving i was like i was feeling the air in my skin i was feeling the sun in my face and i just looked around and i was just like so grateful for where i am i'm in bali and what i want to communicate with this video is that i have a lot of tiny things happen in my life too that just you know and there's we need to give that space too but then instead of victimizing ourselves and disempowering ourselves we can redirect that focus because remember where focus goes energy flows like tony robbins says and make a conscious decision to not let these things that are a lot of times outside of our control i can't control everything of course we can't i can't control all these noises here in bali um i can prepare for it maybe um, I can't control what I overhear other people say. I can't control what other people talk about, you know? If people want to judge all day long about whatever, then I just need to let that happen. I, but I do have the control of how I react to these sort of things. And meditation really helps me to be more in touch with that. And because it really helps to widen that gap between something that triggers me and then my reaction towards it. And I don't, don't just want to react. I want to make a more conscious, mindful decision of how I respond, right? And so this gap widens. The more you meditate, the more you're in touch with yourself. And then something happens and I can feel that energy rising in my body and the frustration getting bigger. And like, it's almost like you want to, you know, explode a little bit. There's a lot of energy up here. And then I'm like, okay, Connie, you can get totally you know, worked up in this and let this ruin your day. Or you can redirect your focus on gratitude, for example, um, or on things that feel really nice, things that are going really well, maybe, things I'm looking forward to, things that excite me. So we always have the choice. And that's the message <laughs> of this video. In the comments below, I'd love to know one thing that really frustrated you in the last few days or made you a bit angry or just things that were out of, out of your control and how you reacted towards them. That'd be great. Otherwise, <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome stuff and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye guys. Mwah.